everybody, Dr. Blaney here, and today I want to talk briefly about a phenomenon that I just recently kind of came to grips with, and that is that I have a fake personality. So ever since I was a little girl, I used to wonder who am I and what is it, what does this thing mean when people say, who am I? I have to discover myself. You know, and it's like, what do you mean yourself? Like, you can be whoever you want. Just change your tone of voice. Like, even though I have trouble imitating others, like, I'm the worst person at trying to imitate a movie star. I'm the opposite of, you know, someone that's good at that. And um, in the same sense, when I try to translate a melody, that I play it on the piano, and I memorize it, and I hum it in my mind, and I want to sing it, then I sing it, and it sounds really bad. So I could never be a really good singer. Um, at least not in this lifetime. So, in the same sense, when I create myself, like, okay, I want to be friendly, I'm going to go to the office and get some coffee at the machine, and if anybody's there, I'm not going to uh, stay to myself, which is my natural self, to stay to myself. But in this world, people don't appreciate that because um, they're automatically afraid of you. And, and people, everybody, not just neurotypicals, but everybody needs you, anyone they see, they need to feel unthreatened. So that's why people smile, because it says, I'm not going to hurt you. And when you do small talk, like ask them how the weather is for them, or I mean, how, if they watch the game, or um, oh, it's so sunny outside, it makes me in such a good mood, you know, like whatever it is for you that you talk about for small talk. That's just saying, I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> You know, I'm, and that's what I want to do. I want to uh, make people not be afraid of me first, and then second, I would, it would be nice if they liked me, but I, it's kind of hot, a lot to hope for, because um, I have a few friends, but good, deep friends, but not a lot, because I'm very unique and different, and not many people like those kind of people, the unique and different people. So there's fewer of us, right, so then I have fewer friends, so, um, but the ones I do have are really special. And um, so the other day my son said, it was actually a few years ago, he said, um, you sound fake. And I was like, what do you mean? Oh, uh, you just sound fake. And I, he wouldn't tell me. So I, I would uh, ask him occasionally to explain why he thinks I'm fake because he would keep calling me on it. He said, you, you just were fake. And I said, okay, what is it about what I did that was fake? And he never could explain it. But in the process, I watched myself and I realized that yeah, when I go to get coffee at the coffee machine, metaphorically, or anything like that, get groceries at the counter, I don't know how to be me, because there is no me. So I have to make it up. And so when I do make it up, the translation gets lost. Kind of like you want to sing in pitch, but it comes out wrong because you don't have control of your vocal cords. So I want to be friendly and peaceful, but what comes across is, hi, how are you? You know, it's just like vague, it's like a high-pitched voice. And I'm smiling, and, and I have a really ugly smile. No offense, Carol, I'm telling myself. But it's just a fact, you know. So I'm not one of these people that can just smile and, and you know, like have everybody go, wow, she has the greatest smile ever. Did you see those teeth? You know, it's just not me. So I don't have that tool. And I don't have a way to disarm people. Like even my glasses sometimes, I notice if I get black glasses, everybody frowns at me. And then as soon as I painted these with blue-green nail polish, they're sort of neutral now, and people don't frown. They just, they just, you know, oh, hello, may I help you, ma'am? But when I wore black glasses, it's like, uh, one time I had my, these glasses that were black, and I had just gotten to my Starbucks coffee, and I looked up, and there was this man staring at me, and he was frowning at me like, how dare you wear those black glasses? I mean, it was so weird. And that was when I said, okay, I'm going to paint my glasses. Okay, so point being is, I'm fake, I admit it, but what am I supposed to do about it? Um, I will continue to practice and try to be less fake, but no matter what I do, it's always going to be fake by definition. So I have to be fake without appearing fake. Does that make sense? So I have to maybe take acting lessons. What I really need is a really good coach. But the thing is, if you ask a friend, they'll say, oh, you're fine just the way they are. And then you ask another friend and they say, oh, no, you need to talk this way. And then you ask someone else and they go, oh, no, you have to talk louder. No, you have to talk softer. And you get all these opinions and none of them, and then you're like, what should I do? Just never get coffee in the office? 
no, I have to do that. So I don't have a solution. I'm just saying that that's how it is for me. I'm fake. I just watched a video this morning, or it was last night. This guy, I don't know his name, but the name of the video was, Hi, I'm an asshole. <laughs> and then something about his, his name is the skinny boy. And so I thought that title was so clever. So that's kind of like me. Hi, I'm fake. <laughs> but there's nothing I can do about it. I'm just fake. And it, I'll always be fake. And as long as I'm in this human body made out of materialized light, I'm going to be fake. The only way to unfake eyes me is to put me in a nuclear reactor and convert me back into light. And then I'll be my true self. <laughs> okay. Well, it's time for the plug. Go buy my book and look for sales because I'm going to be doing a Kindle sale real soon. When I get all the uh, cover updated and Kindle's connected to my uh, Amazon and um, my audiobook's going, you know, like half done, and then I'm going to do a big sale on Kindle for this book, and it'll be like $2.99 or something, so check it out. There's a minimum price. You have to charge it, so I'll give you the minimum price. So check it out. Yeah, it's about... Uh, <laughs> Guardians, which is like neurodiverse people, and uh, what their purpose is on Earth, and it's a really cool fantasy story, okay? And my previous video, I talked about the book a little bit more, and uh, if you're interested, you can listen to that, and I'll tell you about the plot. Okay, well, that's all for today. Peace, everybody.